Hey there, I am doing a second video today because I went to review this figure today and it had some problems and I kind of went off on that video and so um, I don't know, I haven't edited this video yet so I may have removed some things but I decided I wanted to talk about all four of these figures real quick, just a little bit. Um, I may even not put up this video, I don't know yet so I'll kind of explain what happened. So while I was reviewing the white Spartan, Spartan Mark V here, he came out with this off, his left knee pad off, and as I moved his arm, the arm fell off. You know, there could be a lot of things, a lot of reasons for that, but had not been for some of the other figures, I probably wouldn't be making this video. These figures overall have been an extreme disappointment to me. I didn't have a ton of expectations going into this Halo line, because I've never played the game. I just thought the line was cool. When I first saw them at Toy Fair, I thought, hey, cool, I can get some red versus blue figures now because I really like red versus blue. The 6.5 inch, I should specify, 6.5 inch has been disappointing. They've, they're they loose figures, or at least mine are. Mine come really loose. She's, Kat's got a really, really loose torso and her head and her legs and it's really difficult to get her to stand. I put her up and the weight apparently of the top portion unless I can get it just right, I mean come on, do you want to pose your figure like this? But uh, it gets the knees are loose, the ankles are loose, the toes are loose and it's really difficult to get her to stand like that and then she just knocks everybody else over. The red guy, kind of the same thing. He's got really, really loose arms. So loose, he can't actually hold up a gun very well. And the visor came off, like right out of the package. It, the visor was off. You know, the glue is horrible. And these side little things, I had to dig them out with an X-Acto knife. They were apparently either really stuck in there or kind of glued. He, I can get to stand. That's a pretty good thing about him. Now, and I'm going to wait till master chief for the end because you know yeah i'm just going to this guy like i said he came with this stuff off and so if i put this knee pad on i could move this around and it'll eventually pop right back off all on its own it's just kind of hooked there this i can get in but it comes like right back off it's like you do too much and it's off put in and trying to rotate the arm and have to hold in the shoulder socket that's that's not good. I mean, come on. Um, oh, the other thing with this is, you know, maybe I just am having really bad luck with these figures. Maybe it's a bad year, or I don't know. <laughs> is it a bad year, <laughs> by the way? Um, the peg for the gun, the where the gun holds on the back, that was broken off. So it seems like there's just a lot of things. He's also kind of loose. His toes and his ankles, you have to get him in just the right position. Otherwise, he's going to fall right over. If you have these figures too close together, then they're going to just knock each other over. There, stand up back there. I would say the best one of all of them, Master Chief. He's pretty tight. The only problem I have here are his toes. The ankles are definitely way too tight there. He's not going to fall over because of the ankles. Um, there is a little bit of a give, if you can see. My camera's a little high, but if you can see, there's a little bit of a give there. And that, when he starts to lean forward, tips the toes, and then he falls right over. If the toes didn't have the hinge, then it wouldn't matter. Um, he would just lean forward a little bit, like that, and not fall over. So in this case, he's a good solid figure. The toes are too loose for the weight of his figure. Um, one issue I have... And I don't understand this. Maybe it's a design thing. Is the waist they, the waist they don't move? They're cut. They're they look like they should be designed to move, but they don't move. Um, this guy over here, ah, this guy over here, he can't hold up a gun. It looks like, excuse me, he looks like he can, but as soon as you put a gun in there, his arm is so loose that he can't hold it up. And I can't keep him... There we go. So, I mean, if you want to do that all the time, but sometimes... And I know some people say, well, just use the other hand to help hold it up. Okay, well, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. 
but what if I don't want that? What if I want like some sort of a position where I do this number? I can't quite do this number for some reason. Yeah, get him in a position that I can't really get him in and, you know, do something crazy like that. And then he, you know, he falls on his, okay. I can't do poses off the top of my head. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just do things with figures. I play with them. I don't actually always pose them. I could do that. If I do it just right, he'll hold his gun up. But overall, I would say this is a bit of a disappointing line. I'm a little concerned, and I wonder why it's a disappointing line. Because Jazzwares put out the Fortnite figures, the Legendary series, and they're really good figures. Those, These six-inch figures are the first ones I have ever purchased, Fortnite. And I like them. I think they're solid. I think they're good. I may not like everything. Like, for example, I don't like the finger hinge here. I really, really don't like the finger hinge. But they're still a good, solid figure. These ones, these Halo figures, I know there's a transition between Wicked Cool Toys and Jazzwares, but I don't know. The, the quality, There's, they're not checking their factories. They're not checking to see... Maybe they didn't even see these figures before they went out. And maybe this is purely a wave one or a, a first series problem that will get fixed. Or maybe the next batch of series one will be better. But you still, you know, if you're if you're getting these for your kids or a collector and they open this stuff up and they fall apart or they're loose and they can't get them to stand... You know, these are going to be toys or things that are going to be thrown off to the side pretty quick, if not returned. There's a strong possibility I will be returning at least these three, if not all of them, if I can. Because, you know, these are $20 figures. This shouldn't be happening for a $20 figure unless the prices and the changes are so drastic that really you get quality at $30. If it's $30 for a figure, for a quality figure... I'm out. I'm done with the, I'm done with action. I don't care if they're G.I. Joe or not at this point. So I don't want to take up much more of your time, but I don't I think these are a very strong pass. If you've bought them and you haven't opened them, well, if, you know, for anyone who's an inbox collector, oh, Cat actually didn't even have she was missing one of her her uh, extra hands. Um so you know, that wasn't even in the box. You know, there's lots of little things that should happen here and there from a figure, but not a bunch of them in the same group. And I bought all of these at different stores. I didn't, like, buy them from the same batch. I got these two, Master Chief and Cat, from one store. I got the red guy from one store, and I got a white guy from a third store. They were all different stores. So I'm not terribly happy and pleased about it, and I don't like being negative but I hope Jazzwares steps up their game because this is not looking good for their 6.5 inch uh, line. The 4 inch line I think is really pretty good. I uh, haven't come across, well, I say that now, but now I'm rem remembering that there's a few heads that uh, kind of want to fall off. There's There are some problems, but I'd say maybe not to the degree of these figures. These are the ones that really make me jump out and think I should make a video about them. Anyway, you know, post your comments, your thoughts, your opinions about these in the comments below. If you found this helpful, you know, bump a like. Uh, don't give me a thumbs down just because you don't like the figures. You know, that's that's not a cool way of doing it. But if you help, if this was helpful, you know, hit the thumbs up. If you want to be notified of more videos, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, and you will be notified when more of these videos come out in the future. Thank you for stopping by and watching. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend.